When you hang a towel on there in ours, the towel's like hanging like kind of like on the toilet. And well, just, you know, guys, we all know there's a little bit of splatter. Just say it, splatter. There's yeah. some splatter sometimes, and I don't prefer <laughs> to have my towel hanging next to the toilet with, uh, well, pee splatter on it. So I do appreciate <laughs> that they hung this a little bit higher. Welcome back to Why Wait. I'm Chris. And I'm Megan. Today we wanted to talk to you about one of our favorite camper floral plants, I guess you could call it. Mm -hmm. our, our future camper that we always dream about, <laughs> but we really can't have, huh? Not yet. No. Unless yeah. we sell a kid. Yeah, unless Corbin sleeps in the pullout tray in the storage, <laughs> yeah. the basement, or the pullout couch, which we just don't want to do. <laughs> That's no. why we have the mid-bunk now, because, you know, him having his own room is so important to us. But we do absolutely love this floor plan. It's the Grand Design 390RK, which stands for the Rear Kitchen. And I think this floor plan's been out for maybe a year. Been out for a couple about of years. two years, yeah. yeah. Um, we absolutely love it. It's great. Um, maybe one day down the road after he's grown up and gone, we can, <laughs> we can check it out. Of course, who knows what they'll have by then. Yeah, it'll be something you know, amazing then, too. So. Yeah. So recently, we did go to the Grand Design Rally in Tennessee, and on site they had the Grand Design Rear Kitchen model. They had a couple fifth wheels there, and from the Lazy Days RV that you could go inside, tour around, check them out, and that model was there. So we went ahead and filmed, and we talked about the camper, except we didn't quite finish filming it because... Because we couldn't get into the camper. We couldn't um, just be alone in the camper. Uh, there was too much going on, um, you know, too many other people looking at it at the same time, yeah. which is hard to... Which is usually not too bad, I'm, yeah. It's hard to really kind of get a feel for it and be able to speak freely um, when there's a bunch of other people around. We basically had some people camping out in the living room area and kitchen room. I mean, they were in there for like an hour. I don't know what they were doing. <laughs> they were just... We kept trying to get the footage. We had other stuff to do at the rally. We didn't get a chance to go back and finish filming the back half of the RV. Yeah, we were just too busy at the rally. So. Yeah, and then I had to fly back to work, but oddly enough, Megan ended up going back to Kentucky to visit her parents. She was in the area, yeah. and they ended up at the we Tennessee. Went, we went camper shopping. So we yes. went back to the Knoxville, the Lazy Days, and the exact camper that was at the rally was there on their lot. So I took yeah. advantage. Not and just the exact model, but the actual camper. That camper, yeah. So if you're wondering in the video why I'm not in the second half of the video, that's why she was able to kind of get back in there and, and film the living room and kitchen aspect of it. And um, there may just be some voiceover kind of talking about some of the stuff that we liked and this and that. So we just wanted to kind of straighten that out in case there was some kind of weird mystery why some of the footage didn't quite line up. But if this is a floor plan you're interested in or you want to check it out, again, we kind of call this our dream camper as of now. What we, we, we would absolutely love this uh, model. Stick around and check out the footage. Today we're out at the Grand Design Rally here in Tennessee and they have some RV set up that we can go check out. Today we're going to take you through a tour of our dream camper, right? Yes. Yes, it is the ST390RK for rear kitchen. We love this model. And uh, it's one we might seriously consider buying. So this is the 2022. Yes. The only downside is Corbin's going to have to sleep in the basement. So we're trying to work on that. It's okay. <laughs> He'll fit. Yeah. Because I don't really want to wait another 10 years until we can move into this one. <laughs> All right. Let's go take a look. Okay. So checking out the outside. She is quite a beauty. You can see it's got a full body paint job. Uh, I think this one is just a little over 41 feet long. And uh, I really like this paint job. I believe it's called the uh, Champagne color scheme, but um, we really like that. So let's go ahead and check out this basement over here. Just a massive basement, as you guys can see. Of course, that changes once you start putting things inside of it, just like your closet in your house, they fill up pretty quick. One of the best things about this is the rear storage underneath. Yes, <laughs> this would be Corbin's bedroom. This is the storage underneath the kitchen. This is the rear kitchen. Go ahead and pull that out and check that out. That tray just comes out so you can easily access everything. Put Corbin's mattress in here. And be okay. In 
What's awesome is they have four baggage doors, two on each side, and you can see it just passes all the way through. Um, just the ease of getting things in here. The only downside to this for me would be that it's so much storage area, I can see us easily going overweight. Now, as much as I love this rear storage area, um, it's absolutely wonderful. Pass through, the slide out underneath there, the sliding tray. The only downside I could see is we might just end up loading it up with way too much junk slash crafting supply. Oh, never mind. Hey. I <laughs> <laughs> but uh no it's this is one of the selling points we actually absolutely love this storage back here so we kind of wish um that our solitude had this storage like this i'll definitely sacrifice ceiling height inside the camper for storage like this underneath okay let's check out the numbers here as you can see it's got a gross vehicle weight rating of 16,800 pounds and a dry weight or uvw of 14,700 pounds with a 7,000 pound axle. So that's not too bad. That's gonna give you about just a little over 2,000 pounds of cargo capacity, which honestly with all that storage, um, you, you, you could fill that up really quick, really fast. So you'd have to really watch how much stuff you put in this camper. Okay, let's pop our head back into the uh, storage back here again on this side. And you can see they got the more ride easy reel right here. It's great for reeling up the 50 amp cord. And they do have one of the great tank handles here as well. Now let's go ahead and move along and come back up this other side and pop our head into the front storage on the other side over here and take a look inside here. Okay, looks like we got the wet bay and we have the other gray tank pole, the Nautilus system, the black tank. So that's gonna be three tanks total. Um, you got your water filter in here, so that's kind of nice. And just the other side of the storage. This does have the six point hydraulic auto leveling system. That's good. Now, I wasn't too sure why Grand Design was switching to this material on the sidewalls for their slide outs. And we talked to the sales guy from Lazy Days and he was telling us this combination of having the materials. Well, obviously we know why, because of COVID and all that stuff that happened. But it's also a little bit more lightweight and he says it holds up just as good. So um, I'm not too sure if the black slide out walls look as good as just having it the same finish as the rest of the camper. But, you know, pros and cons with everything. Okay, let's check out these tires. Looks like they got the Cooper tires on here. Pretty good tire, and check this out. Uh, load Range H. That is a step up from the Load Range G, which we have. Uh, these would probably be around 125 PSI versus like the 110, so that's gonna be nice. And look at this, they got the Cree 3000 more ride suspension system. So that's a little bit of an upgrade as well, so I do like that. And um, you're gonna need that when you got all this storage back here and all this weight. So to have these tires, that's kind of a bonus. First. Okay. Starting in the front, the bedroom. And one thing we absolutely love about this is the width between the dresser and the bed, because that slide out is a lot deeper than what's in our solitude uh, 377 MBS. And that was one of the downsides. We have almost half the room in this area. I can barely walk through it normal. So this one is a lot, a lot better. It looks like they moved the washer dryer to the middle, which isn't bad, I guess. No, I can handle that. And then you get your separate closet. Yes. Storage up top. Yeah. Two drawers down below on each side. Plus and the dresser. Yeah. Which was we know now. The storage underneath huh. as well. Yeah. One thing we do like about green design, um, we have the same thing in ours. I like how the drawer comes out. We actually like to keep shoes in here. And they usually do a finished space like this underneath the bed. Well, some models just have open plywood storage. The fact that they finish it out is actually really nice. And no carpet. What that, do you think about the no carpet? I I need it in yes. my life. We're getting ready to rip out the carpet in ours and uh, get some flooring. There is no carpet in this unit all the way through, which is great. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. It would be something that I do not use on a daily basis. Especially because have something sitting up here like we're always going to have stuff sitting up here and decorating. And I'm not going to get my wallet and this and that. 
But things I don't use as much, yeah. Throw it in there. So, bathroom, dual vanity, dual sinks, uh, shower is awesome. What a great mess. It's a her medicine cabinet, basically. With the black trim. Yeah, the seat goes up. Nice. Yeah, that's nice. That is definitely room and these a lot wider than what we have. So much wider. Makes a big difference. But also, just for a note, I think they mounted this higher than in our bathroom. Because when you hang a towel on there in ours, the towels like hang on like kind of like on the toilet. And well, just you know, guys, you know, there's a little bit of splatter. Just say it's splatter. There's some splatter sometimes, and I don't prefer <laughs> to have my towel hanging next to the toilet with uh, well, pee splatter on it. So I do appreciate <laughs> that they hung this a little bit higher. I guess that's an easy enough fix I can do in ours. I just haven't got around to it. Okay, so this is the start of the second half of the video. We're not at the Grand Design Rally anymore. This is at the Lazy Days RV. As you can tell, there's not all the chit chatter coming from the back half of the camper anymore, so it's gonna be a little bit quieter. Now, it has this huge bright window in the hallway here, and just absolutely love that. It just lets in so much light. Okay, moving down the hallway here. I do like that they have some areas to hang your coats. They have some hallway closets, so that's great for some storage and putting your coats. And on the other side, they have your LCI control panel, all your slides, your lights, conveniently located right by the front door. So, and this living room, sunken living room, high ceilings, great fireplace, sound bar, big TV. Really like the look of that wall, very nice. And then as you pan around here, they have three couches. These are the fold out um, sleeper sofas as well on the two of them. And then obviously you have the Thomas Paine recliners there. Just really like these light colors versus the dark colors and just so much light, just windows everywhere in this unit. If you look around, I mean, just windows, windows, windows. It just really brightens it up. Some good storage above the couch over here. So we do like that. It'd probably just be filled up with craft supplies, but uh, moving along. Okay, let's step up into this kitchen back here, the rear kitchen, and this is pretty much the selling point of this camper. I mean, just check this out. This is better than some kitchens we've had in our house. But seriously, I mean, the counter space is just amazing. And if you live in an RV, you know counter space is a must, and it's usually kind of hard to come by in most models, so this is great. I love how they put the sink on this back section right here instead of taking up room on the island. So you have a full size island with more storage on it. And if you come around over here, we'll check out this pantry. Go ahead and open this up and you can just see how deep these cabinets are, top and bottom. You get tons of food in here. You won't have any issues in this kitchen with any kind of storage whatsoever. A great four burner stove with a residential style oven. Can't beat that, insignia, nice. And over here we got the 18 cubic inch fridge, pull out freezer, very big. You can also opt for the propane electric if you'd like. But again, um, just an amazing kitchen. Nice sink. I probably would have opted for the, just the farmhouse style sink without the divider in the middle. But I do like the finishes. Again, plenty of storage, obviously microwave. And then you got this great little breakfast nook over here to sit, watch TV use it as an office space, whatever. Um, just a great overall camper. Okay, there you have it. The tour of the Grand Design 390RK, our dream camper one day maybe, huh? Yeah, in the future, we got about 10 more years before we can, you know, yeah. we'll see what they have then. Yeah, who knows what we'll be doing by then, but I'm sure you guys can see why we like the camper so much. That kitchen was just amazing. Uh, um, dream that's kitchen. obviously a selling point. That's better than the kitchen in houses <laughs> and the living room too i mean just very spacious yeah um the, the huge bathroom the awesome storage um, i'm a little skeptical about the cargo capacity with you know allowing that much storage and really you know only about two a little over two thousand pounds of cargo capacity i feel like you fill that up really quick if you're a full-time or like yeah, we are yeah so yeah. But a um, lot to like about that camper. I just think they really nailed it with that floor plan, and, and I think we're not the only ones. Yeah, yeah. it seems to be pretty popular. So yeah, we yeah. know a few people who've got one. Mm -hmm. Talked to a lot of people who really like that. So, anyways, as always, guys, uh, appreciate you stopping by for this quick video and just touring the camper with us. And hope you come back next week. And 
to get out there? Start your full-time adventure because... Why wait? See ya.